In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a free Microsoft Outlook email address. And this comes with a free Microsoft OneDrive account that gives you a free five gigabytes of cloud storage, as well as access to web versions of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. Oh, and that's free as well. What's not to like? Let's get started. Launch your browser. In this example, I've already launched Microsoft Edge. Now I just go to the address bar and type in outlook.com. Then I'll press return or enter. And here's the outlook.live.com screen. If you want to find out a bit more about what you're signing up for, scroll down and take a read. I want to get started, so I'll click on the big blue Create Free Account button. Before we go any further, be prepared. This is a reasonably typical email sign-up process. You are going to be asked to set up a strong password. Why not have a think about that right now, so you're not surprised when you get there. You'll also typically need your mobile phone, cell phone or smartphone number. One of those, not all three. Get that ready now if you don't know it off by heart. And perhaps most importantly, what do you want your email address to appear as? For example, if your name happens to be Tom Jones and you enter that, let's just do that as an example. When you click the next button, you'll get a message telling you that the name is taken. So try to think of something that is a little bit different rather than ending up as Tom Jones 23033 at outlook.com. I think it's helpful if it's something that is memorable so that when you give it to somebody, it will be easy for them to remember and it will stick. I'm going to go for Robbie Rocks IT at Outlook.com and then click Next. Now I need to enter a password. This should be a strong password, so include a mixture of upper and lowercase characters, some symbols such as exclamation marks or question marks, and some numbers. There's my strong password. I'll make sure I remember it. I might even write it down in some coded way. Then I'm going to click the next button. In the next panel, enter your first name and surname. You shouldn't need to write these down. Now click next. In the what's your date of birth panel, check that your country region has been recognized correctly. Use the drop down menu to change it if necessary. Then use the drop downs day, month, year to enter your date of birth and click next. Now complete the visual recognition task to demonstrate you're not some kind of robot. Then click next. Now I need to add some security information. This is where I need to enter my smartphone number and then click the send code button. When I've done that, Microsoft will text me a one time security code. It should only take a minute or so for the code to arrive. Got it. So I'll enter the access code. Click next. Fingers crossed. That's it. We're signed up. Well, almost. There'll be a few more details shortly. But right now, here's my new Robbie Rocks IT at Outlook.com email address. The first time I send an email, I'll probably be asked to confirm some of my security details. I'll take you through that process in a separate video tutorial. The next thing I want you to see in this video is that you have also signed up for a variety of Microsoft web apps as well as free cloud storage on OneDrive. I'll move my cursor onto the app launcher dial pad and I'll click on it to reveal the web apps. Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Calendar, Excel, and top right OneDrive. 
let's take a quick look at OneDrive. Again, there's a few information panels to get us started. It's always, always important to read the information in front of you and make your own mind up about what you accept or don't accept. In this tutorial, I'm going to click the next button. And that takes me to OneDrive and Photos. Again, read what it says. In this case, I'm just going to go to the close button in the right. And I'll make some of these decisions at a later stage. Now Microsoft wants to upsell me from free to premium. Yes, it's the freemium model. I'm not going to purchase a Microsoft 365 personal plan right now, but I do think it's good value and I'll probably come back to do that at some stage. But for now, I'll click the close button again. And here we are in OneDrive, my free cloud storage area. You'll see that an empty documents and pictures folders have been created automatically. There's also a personal vault for even more secure storage of sensitive files. I'll cover that also in the tutorial. To finish off this tutorial, I'm just going to go back to the app launcher button and I'll click on Outlook to go back to my new email account. Again, read the information in the cookies panel message carefully and make your own decisions. You can click the Manage Preferences button if you want to customise your settings. I'm going to click Continue to Site. You can click the coloured circle in the top right of the Outlook window and then select Sign Out to sign out from Outlook and OneDrive. Thanks for watching. Please like the like if you like to like. Better still, click on the subscribe button. There's a link to my other OneDrive video tutorials in the Show More section below the description below this video. Hope to see you soon.